In today's video, we are going to go over what happened in 2016 when I was interviewed by CNBC Arabia the day Donald Trump won the election. Now I want to take you on this journey because it was an impactful day, a day that it was historic in that a businessman won the election from career politicians and he changed the whole impression of America moving forward. And this was a question while I was inside the Burj Al Arab Hotel, the world's only seven star facility, and I was the only American. And the general manager said CNBC is here and they want to interview people. What happened in America? We'll see you inside the video and you will then be able to see what happened on this historic day. Uh, you are an American citizen, so do tell me about uh, Trump's unexpected uh, win. Well, he really, this is, win isn't unexpected. It's against popularity, but I believe his whole campaign was based on popularity of his marketing. He's one of the most outstanding marketers. He's built his brand on being outrageous, like a Sir Richard Branson with the UK, but Trump has built his whole reputation on saying things that put a spike in people's sides. I mean, it's a, he talks about immigration, he talks about the minorities, he talks about what he's going to build a wall. All of these things are outrageous, but it woke up America to vote. And people that feel any sliver like him have been able to support him. And they've come out and voted. And look at the results today. Today, he won by a fair margin over Hillary Clinton, who was expected to win. Uh, what does it say about the uh, American public? The American public is very pliable. They can be influenced quite easily, as evidenced by this. I mean, if you were to look at Trump was a businessman, and well, still is one, Hillary Clinton has held many posts, both as a, a New York senator and as Secretary of State. She was the more logical choice and seemed to be more mainstream and certainly had the women's vote, it seemed. But I think he was able to step on her quite easily with all of the issues over the email, over the fact that she hasn't been exactly honest. She caught, was caught lying and hence she got the name Hill Lyery Clinton and all of these other factors came into play and that's what caused the election result that we are experiencing today. And it's all Trump. Uh, is this uh, an environment of uh, anti-establishment feeling? I, you know, I think Trump is probably one of the best marketers in history. He has said things that are so outrageous to get the people to the polls to vote, get them to vote, and it worked. His anti-establishment, I think he's going to have to learn that dealing with politics in Washington, D.C. isn't as easy as he thinks it's going to be. Every issue, every bill that he pushes forward is going to have to get cleared through Congress and the Senate. It's not going to be so easy, but he used enough of his marketing skills and sharpness in order to get himself elected. Hope you enjoyed that video today, celebrating or dreading the election of Donald Trump winning the election in 2016. If you like this video, please comment below, like it, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video where I'm able to analyze some of the great events as a public speaker.